If you are experiencing foundation issues, get a free estimate from Ox Foundations. Silicon Mayor Jim Heigl joins us this morning. And Mayor, good morning and Happy New Year to you, sir. Well, good morning, Jimmy Dale, and Happy New Year to you, too, and to our constituents and citizens of Chicago. We want to wish you a very blessed and happy new year. Uh, boy, time flies. The year's done. A year's almost done. The final day today. Talk about, uh, particularly in the last year, some of the accomplishments that have taken place here in Chicago. Well, quite a few things. We got new industry coming in. The spec building was sold. We're building a new spec building in the city. Uh, we're expanding uh, through new retail coming in. Uh, just over the past year, you know, and we still got looking at new uh, expansions coming in on our 280 quarter. Our uh, planning commission has uh, spent a couple of years in getting uh, bringing our zoning ordinances back up to date. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, it's uh, just like everything else. It's just like the state laws, the legislation all changes that. We need to change with it. And our zoning needs to be changed as well to help the consumer and the retailers and the property owners to get the best benefit out of their uh, uh, assets. The spec building itself, uh, we've had great success with those, and uh, uh, this one as well. <laughs> well, it is. Well, the last one was built in, uh, I'm going to say, somewhere back in 2006, six, seven, and the economy was real high, interest rates were real high, and that building was built. And then you took the 2008 uh, financial dive, you know, went into a bad recession up there, and it took a long time to sell that building. But it was sold the past couple of years ago, and now... Uh, Fleetwood Metals is, used, is renting that building for uh, storage. And also now with the economy being low, interest rates low, now this is a great time to put up a, a spec building. This 60,000 square foot spec building probably won't stay on the market very long. Mm. Uh, Jim Heigl, the mayor of Silicon, we had a paving project uh, uh, this year as well? Well, paving, yes, we're keeping up with paving and we need to protect it as much as possible. Any 18-wheelers on our streets have to be there for local delivery only. They cannot use it for transit from one area to the other throughout the city. And we need to protect our roads. Getting new businesses into the downtown sector is very important. Got a new restaurant well, opening real soon. Well, it is Thursday. You got the old Marble City Grill, a new uh, owner come in there, a new uh, developer uh, starting a new restaurant. I understand it's some kind of uh, Mediterranean cuisine. It sounds real interesting. I sure would like to try it. That's good, healthy food. <laughs> it won't be a banana sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's for sure. <laughs> but it is good. And our, these ordinances are going to help. We got uh, developers and we've also got property owners just waiting for these ordinances to get passed and all, and they'll be able to move forward a lot quicker. You've got buildings that are being remodeled and these bigger buildings take a long time well, uh, do. to do. Yeah. yeah. But look at what uh, the Sanders has done, you know, with mm -hmm. the old Ritz Theater. They got it back down to the original brick and everything else. Looks it, good. It does. And what they're going to do with the Stanton building, that's going to be nice. And then you got the Broadway Cafe. Uh, they're going to be remodeling that. And it's going to be a big plus for downtown. But that's why I say the zoning is going to play a big part in this. And uh, speaking of downtown, the new lighting uh, is, uh, and, and the streetscape, it really looks good. Streetscape on the... Uh, from 3rd to 4th Street is great, you know, what they've done. They're finishing up now and the contractors. And the council has agreed to combine the 18 and 19 uh, TAP grants. Uh, we will go from 5th Street to 6th Street. All the merchants on that street have been contacted. There's certain things they have to agree to to do it. Uh, we do have some structures on state right away. So LDOT requests that certain things have to be done. But they'll get that started, and then with the 2019, we'll, as I understand, we'll be on the back side of the store starting in that area. The 2020 uh, TAP grants uh, is still up in the air mm -hmm. from the state. Uh, there's still the federal government's making some changes, so we have to wait and see how that's going to turn out. And, and you just can't snap your finger and get stuff done. No, you can't. Know, work that way. No, you can't. You got rules and regulation laws to go by. Uh, just a couple of weeks ago, I just received a box of new forces and everything else, and, and legislations, you know, in, in the books, you know, you got uh, what the state has changed. put a smile on your face. <laughs> you know, it I said, who's going to read all this, you know? But actually, when something comes up, you know, you got to go to it, you know. Yeah. And, uh, it, it uh, all the state, all our laws are governed by the state, and of course, federal government as well. A lot of question about the growth uh, uh, in the industrial complex, and, and that seems to be booming out there. It is right now. Plastic Cal is building, and it'll probably be a few more months uh, to get out there. They started off with a 60,000 square foot building, 
and they're putting silos in and they'll be using calcium carbonate and all that to make uh, the plastic uh, beads and everything else for various plastic items. It's amazing how when just like uh, IKO comes in oh, yeah. and, and the subsidiaries, yeah. you know, they come in oh. and, and it adds to our job market here. You got an anchor, everything falls into mm -hmm. that anchor. And that's what we're going to see on 280 in the, after the first of the year. I think it's moving out there. I guess it's, uh, uh, it's already been talked about, you know, but uh, uh, we're just anxious for what's happening out there in that area and also about the new road and all that and the bridge and, and also... Uh, do you think that's going to happen? Well, I guess I can mention it, you know, because it's all over the Facebook and everything yeah. else. But uh, I was at the IDB board meeting when Tim James came, and uh, he talked to the Sultaga uh, IDB board. He talked to the Talladega County Economic Development Authority. He talked to the Talladega County Commissioners, and all these were in public meetings, you know. He's done it before. And it's going to be a big plus for Silicaga if it can happen. Yeah, and I never thought I would hear anything about it yeah. uh, else in my lifetime after it was up several years ago and then it kind of quieted down. Yeah. Well, there's a lot of politics in it at oh, one yeah. time. There's not any politics in this one. Yeah, yeah. Uh, new ownership uh, of the shopping center, the Walmart shopping Ooh, center out there? That's another big plus for the city of Silicaga. Uh, they've got a contract with Walmart now, I think it's about 10 years. They've got a good deal out of it. Uh, they bought that, what is that, a sushi? Yeah, the uh, used formula, uh, the, the empty place out there? Yeah, yeah, yeah the empty yeah, place yeah, out yeah, there. Yeah. <laughs> the one is just about falling. I, they purchased that, as I understand it, and that'll come down. And they'll be putting new restaurants and outlets on the, on the out partials next to the road. Mm -hmm. And also there's plans for the 40-foot uh, wide uh, crossing of the uh, ditch, the drainage ditch from the quarry. And uh, I, I want to talk about that just uh, because, you know, people have been talking for several years about Publix coming in here. And they said, well, this is steps that are being placed uh, so that someone like a Publix could come yeah, in here. Yeah. Well, we hope that a Publix is going to be. I haven't heard yet that they said no to us. They've looked at us. They haven't said no, so that's a good sign in my opinion. So there's opinion. been meetings with them? Well, I haven't met with them. Okay. I don't know who has. You okay. know, you got developers out there to handle yeah. this kind of stuff yeah. until they get ready to do something. They're not going to come and talk yeah. to me or the council at, at yeah. this time. But uh, the bridge, the biggest thing they got is the Corps of Engineers. They're going to have to work with what, them. What will that do? Uh, well, that will combine the Hutton property where Chick-fil-A and all that's at with the uh, property where uh, Walmart mm -hmm. that they'll just be able to go from one mm -hmm. to the other mm -hmm. rather than go all the way out to oh, 280 yeah. the lights go over. That'd be a big plus. Yeah, it'd be a big plus. Yeah. There's a lot of big pluses coming to Silicaga and, and I hope well, I'm here to see the, <laughs> see the results of most of it. Three years and three months in to uh, your, your mayorship mm -hmm. and, and, and the council which was a, a new council. Yeah. Uh, three years and three months uh, ago. All right? new council, all new mayor and uh, I hope the people are satisfied with what we've been able to do for the city of Silicaga, and thanks to them, uh, you know, we're going to keep moving up forward. And keep Talk moving. about, and I know, I know the voters will have their say in August, but, but your take on where we started from and where we are today. Well, basically, you know, when, uh, when I came in, I saw things that I wanted to do. I was dissatisfied with subsidizing garbage. I knew our streets had to be paved. We had these issues. We had trains across the track that was holding up traffic 40 minutes to an hour and we got we were able to work with the uh, railroads and now the trains go straight through we haven't got that issue anymore and uh, my main uh, concern is that we need to uh, be proactive and quit being so reactive we're gradually getting that way but it's going to take a little more time it's a uh, even little things like uh, well we lost an air conditioner well we didn't budget for it oh my gosh we, we should have been looking at this thing here and say listen this air conditioner is going to make Learn another six or eight months. I don't know. All right, the budget's coming up in ten months. Let's go ahead and put the, get this in the budget and let's get this stuff covered. We don't need surprises. We got a sixteen million dollar budget and we had a forty thousand dollar surplus, but it doesn't take long to uh, eat up forty thousand dollars when you, we've already replaced the uh, air conditioner already. Well, two of them actually this uh, past two months. 
Uh, and these were units, they're heating and cooling units that had to be replaced. Yeah, we, and we, we need yeah. to be proactive in yeah. that and say, we know it's getting ready to go. Let's the go overhead ahead. Is, is tremendous. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, it is. Uh, Silicon Mayor Jim Heigl is our guest this morning for a few more minutes. We appreciate him being here. And Happy New Year to you and your family. And appreciate your service to our, to our great country. And, uh, you know, uh, there is conversation going on and money's being raised for enhancement of the Veterans Park over at Pinecrest. Well, that is basically under the Parks and Rec. Uh, mm -hmm. They're handling that. I think Jim Armstrong and, and that uh, are handling all that. Uh, they used to collect the money for it. We look forward to that, yeah, though. That, no, that, no. That'd be something. That's about that... a $150,000 project. I was in office with Sam uh, when Sam was given those uh, drawings from uh, Jim. Uh, his father was an uh, aviator, and, uh, mm -hmm. naval aviator, and a uh, aircraft carrier during World War II, and he drew these plans out for us back then. Can you talk in specifics about any big box store or anything that, that is coming in, in 2020? Nothing big at this time, okay. no. no. Okay. I wish good, but we can't. Yeah. Yeah, because really, until it really comes to our plant, uh, code department and uh, gets the permits and fees, then we know it's going to happen. Talk about the census. Oh, that's going to be extremely important. Uh, our census, we have to get, uh, we met with the mayor of Childersburg. He had some concerns, you know, that we'd like to have our local people going around in, uh, with the census here. Uh, since we, since the council has agreed to drop the, the fee for coming into Silicon, which was a hundred and something dollars to annex into the city, we've had 51 families to annex into the city this uh, past year. Uh, so uh, you can figure 51, that's uh, two, at least two people per household, not counting the children. Most of them want to get into the Silicaga school system. That's great mm -hmm. because our school system has been falling off as far as students yeah. uh, over the years. But uh, now we're working toward the other way. Uh, to stay above 12,000 in population for the city of Silicon is very important. And well, the fact why that, is that? Because of what the revenue and all we can get and grants, everything we can get from the state and federal governments. Mm -hmm. that's, uh, the more population are, the more... Uh, we are number six in the state, and uh, as far as population goes, they got it one like Mobile and Birmingham, but we're down to number six with our population. We need to stay 12,000 or above, and that will also affect the uh, council. Uh, going to 12,000, I think the mayor becomes part of the council. He has a seat on the council, and I think he will chair the council meetings, and uh, that's another change. And, I hope it stays the way it is, so yeah. we stay above 12,000. And we have uh, uh, been 12,000 or so for, seem like, eons of years. And look at the growth we've had, where the people go. Yeah. That's the reason it's so important to get a quality of life in the Silicon. We need theaters and bowling alleys. We need, we got shopping centers and outlet, but we need more for the uh, quality of life for the people. We need uh, more uh, we uh, baseball fields. We need soccer. Soccer is a big sport well, it's now. It's booming. Yeah, we're booming, and we need to work. And we got a big step forward now. Uh, the county has given up uh, excess. Mm -hmm. They call them roads in the mm -hmm. middle village. Mm -hmm. The city has taken them over. We're going to try and maintain them. Well, we, we're not going to try. We will maintain them, and with just another step forward. And eventually, some of these people may annex into the city, but. We need to, uh, it's going to take time. Now, We've got a lot happening in Silicon. You Gotham. mentioned something that I'd mentioned to you uh, over a year ago, and, and I still keep seeing it today. You know, Pell City has got a beautiful uh, theater. Oh, yeah. And, and, and a lot of our people go to Pell City to that theater. They do. Why can we not have a theater here? Well, Delbert Marsh, the chairman of the IDB board, and I went up there and talked to him. It's got to find the developer that's willing to put it here. I think they will eventually, probably within the next couple, three years, because after they see the expansion that's coming mm -hmm. to 280 out there, you got 52 acres that, as you know now, you can go over there and buy a partial of land on an out partial of that property. Uh, that they, the signs are out there for sale, you know, out partials for sale. That's going to develop. Mm -hmm. That is going to be more uh, uh, to boost the uh, population and the desire to come here. We'll have uh, Mayor Heigl back on again as we get closer to the primary coming up in uh, August. When is when is the qualifying date on that? Well, July the 7th, I'll announce uh, the election of uh, 20, uh, 2021. And that's when uh, the candidates will come to City Hall. 
uh, for a small fee. They'll uh, qualify for their various position, whether it's mayor, city council, one, two, three, four, five. Mm -hmm. And you've already announced publicly that you're I am, absolutely. Yeah, I don't feel like I'm halfway through what I like to do for the city. <laughs> you need <laughs> some more I, white hair, man. <laughs> <laughs> I do. But I tell you, that's, uh, we've grown so much in the past three and a half years, we don't need to stop now. And I'd like to be there to see what else is going, what we can do in the future, you know. Well, encourage people this morning as we go about uh, driving safely uh, tonight. Of course, absolutely. a busy, busy night. We've had a very, very safe, I was watch. I get the calls on the fire department, police department, things like that. And the Christmas holidays were great. Please, let's carry this on through the new year. Uh, tomorrow, New Year's Day, we'll be opening up a new page in our history and in our city. And we just want everybody to be here and be safe. And let's look out for it, each other. And let's be proactive. Very proactive. Right. Absolutely. So, Lacaga yeah. Mayor Jim Heigl, our guest this morning. Mayor, Happy New Year to you and your family and staff. Well, same to you, Jimmy Dale. Appreciate you. More Daybreak coming up right after this.